Hey guys, what is going on? It is Roll Tide 1915 and I'm going to be completing the Falcons Team MVP collection. As you can tell, um, I had actually bought the wrong quarterback or cornerback for this collection. I had bought a, um, a Robert McLean and um, it needed to be a Dominic Franks, but no harm, no foul. It was cheap. Um, the last card I had needed for this was this Jaquiz Rogers that's right here on my screen. This morning when I got up, it was going for like 35k, and I was like. Screw that. I'm not buying it for that. So I went to work, came back home. I looked on the auction block just to see how much it was going for. And lo and behold, there was one sitting there for a thousand coins. And I snatched it up. The, the next lowest was like 25,000. So I was like, yep, got a snap, mini snap. And um, so that's basically going to help me complete the Falcons collection. Um, as you can tell, I'm up to 1.8 million coins. Here it is right here, the Tony Gonzalez. I'm actually thinking about keeping this Tony Gonzalez, even though he only has 82 speed. Um, they might keep him and sell him a limited edition um, Jordan Cameron that I have. Not, uh, I think it, I think this Tony Gonzalez is better in run block. I'm about, about to go compare them right now just so you can see. Um, in case any of y'all were thinking about doing the same thing. And um, I'm pretty sure that Tony Gonzalez is probably the better catcher of the two. And then um, after I compare these two, I'll basically take y'all back to my lineup since I've added some recent players since then. And there's one of the recent players you can see that I added right there, actually. So let me just compare these two real quick. So Jordan Cameron has him beaten speed. I mean, I would expect that 37 to 25 years old, 74 strength, same strength, agility. Jordan Cameron kills him in agility and acceleration. 96 awareness, though, for Gonzalez. Trucking is 76. Let's see. Let's go to some stats that matter. It's carrying, not really. Well, at least I won't fumble with Tony Gonzalez like Jordan Cameron is known to do. I don't know if y'all could hear my phone in the background going off right there. Um, 97 catching. 91 route running. So he's got him beating all the catching stats except for catching traffic. Um, 88 release. Jumping, 89. Let's see. So we're basically the same card up until this point. What I really want to look at is the uh, blocking stats. So 60 run block strength, 62 run block footwork, pass blocks. So basically, um, the only thing that is worse on this Jordan Cameron is the stamina and the injury and the... Uh, and the carrying, except everything else, they're basically the same card. So I might as well just go ahead and get rid of this Jordan Cameron since I think it has more value than the Tony Gonzalez. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to take out there my team real quick. Like I said, doing another lineup update. I just added some recent pieces. Um, my new running back is now Thurman Thomas. I still have my Walter Payton. I didn't get rid of him. As you can tell, he's on my bench. Um, Mike Allstott's still there. My, my O-line's pretty much the same, but my pass offense is where it gets a little bit different. I've added this Josh Gordon. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that last time I did this video. And this legendary Shannon Sharp. I don't think I had that either. And then basically this, this is still the same, Steve Young. I'm not sure if I had that T.Y. Hilton yet, but now I have that. On to the defensive front. I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. I don't remember if I had that Brian Arakpo or not in my last video, but I have that now. And this Paul Puzlesny. I'm not sure if I had that. But now my defense is a, is a little bit better if I didn't have those two. Uh, On to the secondary. This is where it changed a lot. Tracy Porter now. Vonta Davis. Jonathan Joseph. I still use DRC as safety. That is my user. As you can see in my last couple videos of, or my last video of the gameplay that I had I was using him the whole time if you haven't checked that video out go check it out I got this Eric Berry 99 I did their collection it actually wasn't that hard since I already had a Jamal Charles and stuff so it wasn't that hard for me to do the Chiefs collection but these team MVPs if you have some of the elite cards and stuff they're actually really easy to do I think the next one I'm trying to do is the um is going to be the Calvin collection, even though that one's really hard to do. I already have the Jason Jones, though, and I just need to get the Nadamic and Sue. But, guys, thanks for watching my video, and if you haven't had a chance, try to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. I forget to mention it every time that um, I have my Twitter and stuff. I ha I'll have the link below. All you got to do is click on it, hit follow. Real easy, real simple, and uh, I will appreciate that a lot. And, guys, thanks for watching my video. Until the next video, peace.